Alright, hello everyone. Um, as you may have noticed, I have changed my PNG to Um, and the reason for that is that the other program that I was using, uh, was making my, like, voice and lip sync a bit delayed. So basically, if you noticed, like, when I would talk, um, the lip sync would be delayed. Um, so this new program that I'm using for the meantime, because it is a bit less robust than the other program that I was using, um, we'll see if there's a delay when I talk, or if the delay is just a bug of the other program, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, as you might have noticed with this program there's no like i guess like really robust lip syncing it's basically when i talk my mouth is open um and then i blink um and that's about it um and i do float around a little which is kind of fun but at the same time i can see that i'm like floating up so let me move myself there we go i moved myself for you guys hopefully i won't float too much <laughs> Um, but yes, hopefully this will make for a better viewing experience for you guys. Um, I am still going to try and work on fixing the other program so that uh, you guys can have more of a realistic lip sync, but for now, this is what we are working with. Um, and we'll be playing some New Horizons today. Just thought we would decorate some vacation homes. I just checked in with Lottie, um, so I am going to go out and we will see who else is on the island today. Okay, this is Blue Bear, and she needs a place where she can prepare sweets and treats. Okay, I think the best part about going to a cafe is the music. That's kind of- oh! Julian! Oh my gosh, guys, it's Julian! If you guys are kind of new to Animal Crossing, um, Julian is- famous unicorn and he is very popular so i think i might have to decorate his home um he wants a home that feels like it's floating in the sky well that sounds right up my alley in the first place i like doing stuff like that sky themed builds oh my this gives me shrek vibes i feel like a lot of things in this game gives me shrek vibes but a place to film scary movies that are really scary Oh yes, thank you. Give runners a place to rest their wings? I don't think you... I don't think you run with wings. Um... <laughs> interesting. Oh my goodness, what a posh man. I'd like to sleep under a top tier view of the night sky. Wow, so posh. Let's see who's in the cafe, just for fun. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Grab a cup and pull up a chair. Oh my goodness. This is like so cute. What a interesting rhino. Um, I miss hanging out. Oh wait, I miss the time I spent hanging out in empty lots. Okay, this is kind of a cute hamster. I need a place where I can focus on my career. Nice. And did I already do these guys? Oh, I want a home like a salon so I can share the beauty. Interesting. Catch you next time, kiddo. Okay, let's next go to the restaurant and see who is there. By the way, um, I think I'm going to update my stream schedule so it's a bit more consistent, so be on the lookout for that. Um, okay. Welcome. Aren't you the cutest customer, bra? Okay, hello. I want that ref relaxing, refined hotel style something something feeling from myself. I, I feel that. Um, <laughs> I want a vacation home where I can be one with nature. 
already did that one, and then I want to be reminded of the desert where I grew up. Some really good prompts today. Thanks for stopping by. Come back to see me sometime, girl. Okay, and then let's check out the clothing store and see what clothes they have, and then we'll get right into decorating Julian's home. Hopefully they have some cute clothes, although I never wear the clothes that I buy here. I kind of just buy them and then they just live in my storage. Welcome. Feel free to look around the entire shop. Bloop. Okay, what is this? Looks like the price tag on the fairy- Oh, it's a hood. Okay. Uh, no thank you. We have quite the variety here, so take your time and browse while you'd like. Bloop. Okay, well, there's nothing that I'm too interested in. This kid's smock is really cute, but I think I already have it. So, let's head back to the beach. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again sometime soon. Bloop. Hopefully, Julian gives us some more furniture. But I'm guessing that he probably won't because we've done a lot of homes with this similar theme. Um, wait, are you one of the folks from Paradise Planning? There's something I've been meaning to ask, but it's a little sensitive. Well, here goes nothing. Will you help me build a vacation home? Leave it to me. Uh, <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> I know I'm in good hands with you, Angelina. I did not know that Julian was Japanese. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> oh, it's just... Oh, it's this personality type that just says a bunch of languages. Gotcha. Bellissimo. I'm sure you've got all this handled, so I don't have to do anything. But just in case, here's what I'm thinking. Cloud Nine Chalet. Oh, a chalet again. We did a chalet. Like... A few weeks ago so if you missed out on that video you should definitely go watch it it's on my youtube channel um so we are familiar with chalets oh that's very nice i really like your concept all right now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client okay cloud nine chalet so maybe we should do it like on a hill or something is there like a hilly one Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Hill. I mean, I could do this one. It's cute. Yeah, let's let's do this one. I'm glad you have such an exclusive location to offer me. I can't wait to head over to the site. To help me prepare for you can either have one floor or two floors. Which would you prefer? Is that right? Glitter, you sure offer plenty of options. I'm not sure, one floor sounds tight and exclusive, two floors sounds glamorous and inviting. What do you think? Let's do one level for now. Yeah, you're right, I shouldn't get in over my head. Plus, with just one floor, it's VIPs only. Now, Julian, we found a good location and settled on the floor plan, so it's time to head out. Angelina, please leave Julian to the site, and the best of luck. Nice. I hope he gives us some new items. That would be really nice. Let's see. So this is going to be my vacation pad. I can't wait to see how you brand it. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to influence your vision, Glitter. Okay, Cloud9 Chalet. Let's get into it. Let's look at the items. Okay. So, yeah. Oh! We have a spaceship and a satellite now. That's kind of cool. Oh, and a throwback gothic mirror. And, of course, Julian's photo. Oh, and a, a chiton. Cheeton? I'm so sorry. A vine crown. Okay. Cool. 
So let's start with the house. Um, we sort of already know what a chalet looks like. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, a chalet is basically like a cottage. Um, and so we want to make it look as cottagey as possible. So I think I'm going to go with like log exteriors. Um, I don't remember if this is the only house that has log exteriors or if others have log. Okay, this one does too. Um, I think we'll go with this house just because it's a bit smaller. It's a bit cozier. Um, let's see. What color to do though? Maybe I'll do pink. And then... Oh, either do I like the roofs? The roofs are kind of bland. I don't know. Maybe I will go with the other style. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, these roofs are much more colorful and like also more pastel. Like that's really pretty. And then the pink logs, or we could go with white logs. But I think we will go with the pink logs. And as far as a door, I don't know if I'm a huge, huge fan of the grill door. Um, the fancy doors. That's very cute. Could also do just like a window door or a sort of like porthole. Hmm, or just like a regular wooden door. Simple door. Rustic door. I don't know. I kind of like the rustic door. I think we'll I think we'll go with that. And then as a door decoration, let's see. Um, I think I'll just leave it as is for now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we place this down here? No. Okay. So this has to go up there. And then let's just get rid of that. Okay, um, we put this sort of near the edge, um, and then let's also change this while we're at it. You know, I like the bricks, but do the bricks really give chalet vibes? You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me actually look up a picture of a chalet again because... Like, I kind of forget what it looks like a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to Google image it. Let's see. Chalet. Chalet. Images. Yes. It's basically a cottage. Okay. Sometimes they're made of stone as well. Interesting. Most of them appear to be made of wood, though. Okay. So, in that case, I guess I'll just pick whichever one of these goes well. Maybe I'll just do, like, the log one. And then we'll do log for this as well. And let's do a little bit of pathing. Um... Uh -huh. What path to do though? I could just go with like a dirt path, but I feel like a chalet is a little bit nicer than that. Um, now that I'm seeing the pathing options, I kind of want to go with this, but I don't know if this really works with the um, like stairs that I chose. I guess it's not stairs, it's like a ramp. But, um, I don't know. Maybe it does work. Let's see. And then we can go over here. Oops. Here we are. Nice. I feel like that's pretty cute. Okay, and then what else should we add? Uh, a gazebo? I don't know. Um, 
we could definitely add a tree. Uh, let's just do the harder wood because it is cherry blossoms and we love cherry blossoms. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I could also move this back a bit and then put like a few flowers or something in front. I kind of want to put that, um, there's like a little swing, like a porch swing. Um, what would that be? I don't know. Maybe it's under outdoors? This is more like business. Barbecue? Maybe it would be under this section? No, apparently. Be under this section? Okay, that's another no. Maybe it is under seats? If it's not under seats, I have no idea where it is. And I also have no idea what it is called. So, ah, yes, swinging bench. That is exactly what I was looking for. And then let's customize it to be, let's see, light, natural, white, red, or dark. Go with white. That's pretty. Okay. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? Let's look at the recommended items. Um, this could be cute. I suppose we could have used a garden bench instead of a, a swing. I mean, we can see how that looks. It does look a bit classier. I guess we could use that instead. Um, then we could do like a garden table down here with some chairs. Iron garden chairs. Let's change these to be white. Sort of match. Okay. And then we'll put four. Oops. There we are. I guess we can put it, I think, up against the, the little cliff side might be best. That. Or we could even put it, like, more off to the side. That. I kind of like that more. They just have to be very careful not to fall off. Or maybe I should give them, like, a fence. Maybe that would be smart. Um, let's see. Could go with, like, the stone fence. Let's see. Doo -doo. Oh, I can't put it there. Okay, well, they'll just have to try to not fall off. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what else could I put? Um, and I do like the idea of this glowing moss pond. Maybe I should have made this a bit more cottage quarry if I was gonna use the glowing moss pond. I mean, I still could try and make it cottage quarry. Let's see, turquoise green. I would go with green. But yeah, I guess if I was gonna make this cottage quarry, I would like take away the paths. That. And then take away these two. Like that. And then. Where would I put this? Oh. The problem is there's not too, too much room. Um, I would definitely have to add more of these trees. And maybe I would... Oh, well, there's nowhere for me to put this. Um, I'll just set it down there. Because I want to put a tree sort of where these are. Um, let's see, does it fit? Yeah, it does fit. Nice. And then... Put another tree there. Does another one fit here? Oh, it doesn't. What if I moved this and just put it there instead? 
And then we could put this there. It's giving like pretty cottage core vibes. Um, but then the problem is there's not too too much room for this thingy my bobber. This um I don't know what it's called. I don't wanna say lake, but the pond. There we go. <laughs> um so maybe I should put the pond like by the house a bit more. Um let's take this and move it down here and just move that for now. And we could put the pond like here. Like right next to the house. And then we could put some trees in front. Or maybe just one tree because it appears that that is all that we can fit. <laughs> Sadly, um, keep that bench there, add some more trees, wonder where can I put this tree, maybe like there, okay, and I also have the urge to like get rid of that tree and push, um, the like seating back a bit more. And then maybe try to put a tree more in front of the seating. I wonder if I move this tree here? I can. See, that makes it feel like more like, I don't know, foresty. Maybe I should put this there and then put like another tree like here. Hmm. Sure. And then we could put another tree there. And another one like here. Julian definitely deserves like a magical cottage core little forest thing. <laughs> um I actually changed the house back <laughs> to this one. And then just make the wood like a neutral color like that okay and then the door could just be like that i don't know is that cottagey enough what other cottage could i have that looks like a cottage but do they have wood for this one i guess kind of but, I don't know. I like the other one better. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just stick with this. I'd like to put a tree or something right here, but there's not enough room. Maybe I'll get rid of that. And maybe I'll move this whole seating thing. Maybe I'll move it up here. Oh, it doesn't want to let me move it properly. Um, let's get rid of that. Oh, we could switch them. We could put the seating up here, and then we could put the pool, um, down where the seating was before. That feels like a good idea. Or at least a viable solution to a problem. Where did this go before? There was like, oh, oh. Well a bit much. What if I just put that down? And then what if I just put this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here. I duplicate that. That. And what if I... Oh my goodness. Is my controller broken? Genuinely asking myself that because I don't know if you guys noticed but selecting like multiple items has been kind of difficult like and it's very strange um but anyway yeah i would rather put like two trees behind or i could like oh i can't even move them yeah okay they just want to be where they are now um 
And I could like move this whole situation like, okay, apparently not. I move that. Okay, I can move the table for it a bit more. That's nice. Oh, and then we can like put that like that. Can we put this like this? Oh, we can. Can we put this here? Okay, no. They don't like that. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of liked it more when the trees were like in line with each other. Yeah, like that. That's cute. Okay, let's go to our history and let's take this glowing moss pond out again. And see if we can make the pond work. Because I desperately want the pond to work. It's just a matter of like tetrising in all of these things. See, even the trees don't. There's no rooms for the trees. No rooms, sorry. No room for the trees. <laughs> There we go. I mean, that's that's very cute. Um, giving very like Legend of Zelda. Um, the fairies in that game. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys like know what I'm talking about, but I feel like I've talked about this before. Like the um, fairy fountain, I think is what it's called. Um, that is what this reminds me of, especially the fairy fountain in Breath of the Wild, which I mentioned this before, but Breath of the Wild is the only Zelda game I've played to like a large extent. The rest of the Zelda games that I have played, um, they have, well, so I played like the very first Zelda game. I don't remember what it's called, um, but I played the very first one and then I also played the uh, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. I think it was like technically a remastering or something of like Majora's Mask on a different um, like console or, or something. Um, but yeah, I played that one, but I didn't get very far because the whole like time thing was confusing me. Like you could like go back in time and I was like, I don't know how to make this work. Um, and I was very young at the time, but anyways, that's a little tangent. So the only fairy fountains that I've really seen are the ones in, um, uh, the, the Breath of the Wild one. And, um, they are very nice and they're like, they're huge fairies, ginormous fairies. Um, and it is a time. So maybe I will switch this tree and this vine go like that. There we are. Do I like that? Or would I rather have the vine in front? I think I'd rather have the vine in front. I feel like there's no way Julian is going to be able to actually walk to his house. Sorry, Julian. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> bad broski. Um, also, I just want to comment, like, look how good these vines. Well, okay, it's not as good as when I was looking at it from afar. But at first I was looking at these and I was like, wow, look at how good these vines melt into the ground. Oh, hello, I'm Kitty is the king. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, they melt very well into the ground, which is nice. Anyways, I wonder, is there room to put a vine over there? Or... Oh, well, I put a rock there. So maybe not? How are you doing? I'm Kitty is the King. Nice to meet you. My name is Angelina. Um, you can call me Angie. And today we are just playing some uh, New Horizons. Uh, Happy Home Paradise. And... We are just decorating Julian's house. He is so adorable as a little unicorn. So yes, um, right now I don't stream too, too often. I feel like twice a week, um, just for a little bit because I am a full-time university student. Um, but yeah. What are we doing? Yeah, just decorating homes, basically. 
Um, during my last stream, we played uh, Kirby, so that was fun. Um, but yes, we sort of are now alter alternating between um, Kirby and uh, New Horizons. So, yeah. Um, today is the, the New Horizons day, and then uh, next week, we will be sh back to Kirby again for a little bit. Um, ah, this is Julian. Uh, Julian the, uh, unicorn horse. <laughs> He's the blue guy, uh, with the galaxy sweatshirt. <laughs> He's very, very adorable. Um, and he wants us to make a Cloud Nine Chalet. Um, which, don't know if I'm doing that great on the theme, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you for tuning in. But, yes. Well, I kind of liked it better with two cherry blossom trees. Let's see. There we go. And maybe, I don't know, should I remove that one? And then maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to sort of figure out how to Tetris everything in such a way that it looks nice and not like too much, you know? I don't want it to look like too much. Hmm. There's a, a task for sure. Hmm, I think if I move this over a bit, yeah, that looks, that looks fine. Um, but yes, we are trying to make this a bit of, like, a cottage core type theme. Um, just because Julian is a unicorn. <laughs> so, you know, it makes sense to have, like, more of a cottage core aesthetic. Um, but we're doing more, like, springtime cottage core. Uh, which I'm not too, too familiar with. Uh, normally, if I'm going for, like, a cottagecore build, um, I will go for more of, like, a fall cottagecore. Um, but since it is spring, uh, in Animal Crossing and in North America, um, that we do that. So, placing these cute, cute balloons. They are adorable. Go. Yes, they're not technically balloons, but they're still cute. Okay. And then let's see. I could also just do like a petal pile. We go. Maybe just sprinkling some petal piles give a little dimension to the ground. The great thing about the petal piles is also that you can walk over them, which I really like. Okay, um, we will go to the miscellaneous section and see if there's some more plant stuff. Okay, not really. Hmm, I feel like I had more plants. Oh, probably because they're in, like, different forms. I know that sounds kind of weird to say, but there's, like, um, a flower plant. Yeah, this. It's a mum cushion. Yellow, red, or white. So, do the white one. They are very pretty. Just like big flowers. I don't really use them as cushions. I just kind of use them as big flowers. Which they're very pretty. Okay, maybe I'll remove that one. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and then we have like a mushroom stool. Are there mushrooms in spring? I don't know. Uh, I'm not really feeling the mushroom, to be honest. <laughs> do the glowing moss and we could do the pink one again 
Being a little more pink. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Um, we'll put that there. Yeah, there's no way that Julian is going to be able to walk to his house, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll move stuff around so that he is free to walk. At least this area is going to be tricky, though. I don't think. I think he'll have to, like, sit in a chair and maneuver that way <laughs> to walk, but hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully, we can kind of tidy things up a bit more um, so that it looks nice and so that we can walk. Um, yes. <laughs> Let's put one on this side as well. Okay. Um, what else? Should probably add some bushes. Um, what color bush? Hmm, which one looks like the most spring cottage core? Maybe these, the camellia? Where did that go? Oh, it went here. Okay. Sometimes I have no idea where these things go. I'm just like optimal confusion or peak confusion moment. Like they just appear. I don't even know where I put that. Hold on. Oh, it went there. Oop. I think I'll move that and put this in front like that. And then put this back right there. I realize that this is kind of a lot of, like, furniture out, but... I don't know, like, I guess that's just kind of how I prefer it, especially outside. Like, I feel like outside I'm a bit of a maximalist, um, whereas when it comes to the interior, I feel like I'm, I definitely put less items, um, but anyway, yeah, there's no way that he's going to be able to walk through this, um, but let's try anyway. Okay, it spawned me here, which gives me promise um, that we can sort of maneuver ourselves over- oh my goodness. Okay, wait, maybe we- let, let me off, please. Okay, can we scoot through there? The answer is no. Um, okay, so we need to probably move this- back but to do that we need to move this somewhere and just exist there why why does that not want to oh there's a cherry blossom pile okay that could put there and there we go and then we can put this like there and we can put the little balloon thingy mavaver like here and uh, i don't really like that there uh we can put it there okay now let's see how- oh, it spawned me up here. That is not a good sign. Um, but let's try and maneuver ourselves. Okay, there's like literally nowhere we're doing that. Can we go there? Okay. Apparently not. So, let's see. We definitely need to delete this bush. Um, and then we could go like through the back. Um, so then we can delete- that and then this is kind of in the path as well it should be fine though because you can like sit on it and then get off right in theory okay well, let's try it okay so we go here go like that there's something here oh Okay, then we go down, and then we are blocked by a tree. Okay. So, because we're blocked by the tree, we need to move the tree up, which it can't do. Why not? Why can you not move, tree? So sad. 
quickly move a tree. Here, is there enough? Yes, because we can go through like that, I think. Um, fun, fun, troubleshooting. Not being able to walk through your pills. <laughs> uh, it is a time. It is a time. Okay, let's try that. Okay, it still spawned me up there, but that's okay. Because we can sit on that and go around. And if we can sit on that and go around, theoretically, Julian can too. Okay, nice, we made it. I have to decide, am I happy with this outside? I mean, it looks pretty nice. Hmm. It is very spring cottage core. Um, but... What I want to do is make it so I can add some, like, pathing on the floor. Um, specifically, there's, like, some flowers that I want to add. Um, so let's see these ones. These sort of, like, cherry blossom looking ones. And I kind of put them randomly. As they make everything look more floral. So, let's see, let's see. And then let's also use uh, this sort of flowery pattern as well. I really like doing a mix of flowers. Um, I mean, even if you do like all the same flower, you probably wouldn't be able to tell anyways. Um. Which I don't know why that is. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. That's really cute. So, let's go inside. And figure out what to do with the interior. Alrighty, many, many boxes, a piano, a moon, and a star. Nice. Okay, so we are doing a Cloud Nine Chalet, so let's get some, like, cloud stuff going. Ooh, galaxy flooring, that's new. Wow, that's pretty. That's very pretty, but I think I'm gonna go with clouds. Just because it's supposed to be like a cloud night, shall we? Um, okay, that's cute. So, what other stuff do I want to use in this home? I'd like to make it feel a bit elegant. Um, so I think I'll use some of the like zodiac stuff just because they have like gold accents and I really like that. Um, which I Oops, I put two of those out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think that I have all of the Zodiac stuff. Um, but I figured I'd I just put out what I have. What is this? Ornithopter? What, is, what does that mean? Oh, it's like a like a paper paper animal thing. Let's see, white, brown. Red, yellow, blue. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I will put it away for now. Um, I also feel like I should give him a bed, maybe. Um, so let's look at beds. I think one with the canopy would be cool, but I don't really have any of those that I like. All I have is this cute bed and this imperial bed. Um... So maybe I'll do like a elegant bed. Um, we could do the gold frame and then the blue roses is pretty. We'll do that. Okay, that fits pretty well with the theme. 
Um, so I'm just going to make this really big. Um, I'm thinking if I want to do an accent wall or not. Uh, I don't think I will in this build. Um, okay. So I can put the bed over there. If a closet and uh, we can make sort of like an entryway with the piano. Oh, let's see. Put those there. Those over here. There we go. So a nice sort of grand entryway with the piano. Maybe we should add like a little um arch or something. Um, we have this ruined arch that we could use. That could be kind of nice. Light, light brown, black. I do it. I don't know. I don't think I love that, to be honest. <laughs> okay, um, but we should also put, like, a piano bench. Or, like, a seat. At least. Okay. Uh, black, red, white. With the white one. Nice. He loves it. Um, okay. And put that over there. Um, then maybe I'll add, like, some couches. Um, uh, I think we'll go with the elegant couches. I guess they're down here. Oops. Uh, here we are. Uh, we'll do gold, and then we'll do the blue roses. That is very pretty. I wonder, can we customize this to be blue? White, walnut, cherry. Okay, well, put this one. We could do the seat like blue. Oh, nice, we can if we want. I guess we can try it. Uh, to be honest, I preferred the white on white. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. What would you have in an entryway? Um, I guess this is maybe like the living room sort of area, so maybe we could also add like a table, like a coffee table, because so I think that there is an elegant coffee table or something. Hmm, I feel like it would be in this area, because I know that it is kind of low. Maybe I missed it? Hmm... Oh, I think it's this one. Gold, silver, brown. So we'll go with gold and then same blue roses cloth. We are. What even is a console table? I'm gonna look that up real quick because I've been wondering that. Like, how is a console table different from a regular table? Like, is it for a TV? Is that what it's for? Or like, is it for something else? Um, okay. Console table. What is a console table used for? Oh, it's for an entryway. Okay. Well, that works out pretty well. Um, but I guess I should be putting it like against a wall is what's supposed to be happening. Um... So, let's see, I guess, in that case, how do I want to structure this entryway? Um, because I want these to be next to the piano, uh, so that people can sort of, like, sit and listen and chat. Um, but then we're gonna have to put this console table somewhere. So let's just move this so that it's a bit more centered, like that, and then maybe we'll add like a partition wall, maybe like that, hmm, like that maybe?
that and then we could put this here oh one doesn't fit there so we need to make this a bit bigger there we are then like that but then like what are we doing with this space I don't know. Ah. Okay, hold on. New plan. Um, this whole situation can just move there for now, and then we'll make like a like a proper entrance. Um, so we will put this table against there. Like that, and then we'll move it to the side so that we can add the little, these thingies, the wooden pillars. But maybe we'll do the white one instead, the simple pillar, so we can use like, the dark blue. Yeah. That. Like that. Okay, so that's like a proper entryway. Um, and then we could have the uh, whole like seating area be over here and maybe we could center this a bit if I bring it a bit closer that's a very intimate seating area but I guess that's how it is <laughs> and then we have like the piano there and then we'll put another wall here sort of separate the space a bit more um maybe we'll move this there and move this whole situation against the wall i don't know but then that feels like too cramped maybe maybe we'll just get rid of that and maybe we will just make this area sort of wide. Um, so I'm also wondering if I should change these pillars' colors. Like maybe I should do white instead, or like pale blue. Okay, I don't like pale blue. Do I like the white? Um, the white is better than the blue. But, another thought is I could also do gold. Oh. Kinda like that. <laughs> is that ridiculously extra? Yes. Is Julian also kind of extra? Also yes. Or at least that's what I've heard. I mean, the fact that he's a unicorn is kind of extra. Also, he's a horse. He's not an actual unicorn. So, like, he, like, sticks a cone on his head. That is very extra. And look, he just looks dramatic with his bangs. Anyways. Um. That is besides the point. <laughs> okay. I need to find some sort of table to put in the middle. But I'm like, I don't know what table would look nice. Because I already used the console table, so I don't want to use that again. I really don't like the artsy table. Mainly because... But like, I don't know, it, the bottom is kind of weird. I'm gonna try this. It's so bad. I don't like it. I could try to do the cool low table. Mm, no, never mind. I thought that they might have like a gold option. Um, I feel like wooden low table. But I feel like this is too woodsy. It's very wooden, which like makes sense because that's what it's called, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't work. Hmm. I could try this folding table. Never mind. I never know like when I go to customize something if it will look like really good and nice. Because I'm not familiar with, like, all of the customizations in this game. 
So I'm like, oh, maybe there's a way that I can customize this to make it look really nice or something. Um, but sometimes that's like not the case. Um, outdoor bench. I mean, I could use a bench as a table. It, it could work. <laughs> Let's see, how can we customize this? Um, yeah, no, I don't really like it. <laughs> so sad. Um, I could do like two stools. Oh my. Uh, this is so sad. Okay, maybe we just will like not put anything in the middle, although it does feel like kind of weird without something here. What else do people put in the middle of like sofas? I feel like the only thing to put is a table. Put a gothic mirror. Oh wow, wait, that is small. <laughs> I expected it to be like sort of like a stand-up mirror, you know what I mean? Um, but no, I guess. Um, I could also look in the cooking section. There's some tables here. Or in the, um, whatchamacallit, the, like, business section. I think that there's some tables that are, like, kind of meant for shopping. Like, showcases and stuff. Um, <laughs> we can just give them a conveyor belt as a table. Oh no. Okay, well, I could have sworn that they had, like, a museum table or something. Like, they had these. I mean, I could try it. See, but that's, like, too tall. The table has to be, like, low to the ground. I could just give them cardboard boxes. Hmm. Oh, I could do this. This is kind of classy. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. It's like not the best fit, but I feel like that's better than anything I've tried. I could also change the the this so that it's not white and it's like more of a woodsy feel. I also do cherry or cherry or walnut. I mean, personally, I do prefer the darker walnut color. Um, but I feel like the cherry matches the bonsai table a bit better. Back to it for a second. I don't know. I'm gonna use walnut just because it has, like, gold accents and I think it's nicer. Um. Okay. And now the question is, like, what do I do with this area and this area? Um. I think that this area fits pretty well as a bedroom so let me make that into a bedroom but it's a bit big for a bedroom but you know what he is extra i'm sure he would love a large bedroom maybe i should give him like a walk-in closet too <laughs> so i could do that let's let's see i mean like be a pretty small walk-in but be a walk in nonetheless. <laughs> there we go. Or like maybe like his own private toilet or something. No. <laughs> this is an interesting um, composition. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But what we could do instead is just expand the room. Uh, horizontally so that um, there's like more room for the bed so we could go like that and get rid of that move that and then put this here see that's nicer um, and then just to get a feel we put that there and then that there see I feel like that's pretty nice um, I don't love the idea of the bed like right next to the door so maybe I'll change it so that it's like this oh oops like that 
Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. It's like not perfectly centered, but that's okay. I can I can um move this over so that a there's more room in the dressing room sort of area, and b uh, so that the the bed is a bit more centered there. Okay. Um. And then we have our little wardrobe, and that's about it. <laughs> It's a walk-in closet with one wardrobe. No, we can give them two. Maybe a few wardrobes. Um, maybe like a accessory shelf. I don't know if we have that. Um, don't really even know where that would be, to be honest. Hmm. So there's like these there's also this um mm -mm. let's see i mean because we also have like a whole there's like a like a open wardrobe sort of thing i don't know if that's here it's probably up here um let's see let's see yeah it's like these open sort of hanger racks um might use this and we'll stick with navy and we could put that there oh no there we go oh duh i should add a mirror um where are the mirror oh they're right here. I'm like, mirrors, where are you? And then I find them. Uh, I'll just stick with gold. Uh, okay. And then maybe we'll put the mirror here. And then the little hat thingy. Put it there. Or we could move this over and put it here. Or we could move this over this way and put it here. Yeah, I think that's nice. Okay. Um. All right. And then I guess what else should I put in the bedroom? I don't know. Maybe some plants let's see plants here we are gotta have a monstera in every single build <laughs> i love the monstera it's so pretty i'm sure he would love it too um i could also like move this and like put it here oh you know what i realized this is kind of weird like that's that makes it a bit more even i'm looking at this right yeah it does okay because i'm also thinking that i could give him like a whole like uh this thingy display case of flowers <laughs> i mean i know that this is more for like businesses and stuff but i like to use it in builds so um I feel like it's very extra and as we've discussed he's a very extra villager so this is what he deserves i guess i don't know if he deserves it where it is though don't know if that's a good look or not i mean we could also put the bed like in front of it but i don't know i don't know Maybe I'll make him a separate greenhouse sort of area. Um, I did that with another villager. I don't really remember who it was, but I basically made her like a, a separate little greenhouse and it turned out really nicely. So I think I'll do that for him too. Um, then we can make this maybe blue or white. I'll try blue. 
I like the blue. It's a nice little pop of color. Okay, it's a very cute, simple bedroom. Um, now I need to figure out what I want to do with that moon. So the moon could be very nice in like a sort of like greenhouse, like relaxation area. So maybe I'll do that. It's just that this space right here is kind of awkward to work with. Um, just because it is so like skinny, you know, it's like skinny and long and like, it's kind of weird. Um, okay, so we can put this here. Then, do that there. Or, we put this in like the back B and then this we could put oh like this I mean that's pretty nice I wouldn't mind um laying down in there it looks nice be like a glowing moss too Make it blue. I'll change this to blue too while we're at it. Why not? Oh, so blue. Okay. Um could also add maybe in one more plant. Uh could do this one. Do and then we could do the white. like there. I'm not loving that balloon thingy. We'll put that there. And then we'll also add some flowers. Do the blue ones. Wow, those are fancy. I mean, we just put them like there. Very fancy. Maybe like that? I don't know, is that too much? Maybe. Um, or I could do cherry blossoms. I kinda like the cherry blossoms more. Okay. Maybe this wedding flower stand? It's the chic. I mean, this is very pretty. I might use this somewhere else. Um, but I think that I'll add some flowers, some lilies, these lilies, and make them pink to sort of match the cherry blossoms. There we are. That's quite nice. Okay, and then um, I should put this in the bedroom. This is kind of a nicer plant. Like it just goes better with the theme. Maybe we will not have a monster at this time. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, uh, and then as for this area, I could just leave it like a nice hallway. Um, could also expand the bedroom and try to make like a bathroom, which could be an interesting idea. Try to do that. Uh -huh. Let's see, like that, and then we would maybe not like the whole wall, but maybe just this portion. Just move it over a bit. And then we could add a bathroom. That, and then like this. And then a little bathroom here. That's like not a very big bathroom. That's like an incredibly small bathroom. 
especially for Julian. I feel like he needs a bigger bathroom, but you know what? We are working with what we have. Okay, and then like that. I mean, it's a small bathroom, but it's cute. So, I mean, I could also make it to the bathroom and the clothes are like all in the same area. I feel like that's just like not as nice. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking of like my home and where I live and like typically if anything the bedroom and the wardrobe are combined like typically the bathroom is not um like the bathroom would be like in a separate room you know so i guess i could just like get rid of this and then instead just make these on this wall that there we go and then remove these bit. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to grab the wall. We are. Um, and that gives us lots of space for a proper bathroom. I feel like. There we go. Could even put this on this side. And then just add the Taurus bath there. Maybe. Or we do it on this side. Add the Taurus bath. Or we could expand it a bit. And then. Oh. Oh, it doesn't want to turn how I want it to turn. Here we go. And then the Taurus bathtub. And I also want to add a golden toilet because why not? <laughs> we can add one, so we shall. There we are. Okay. And then to add a little plant in the corner. And maybe another plant like here. That's pretty. I feel like we can just leave that plant there. And then I think we'll also add a serving cart. I don't remember where the serving cart is at as always. So I'm just gonna sort alphabetically. Yeah, I feel like my thing is broken. My controller, because it's not letting me. You know how if you press down on the right stick, you can like go quickly not letting me do that <sighs> do I need to buy a new controller? wait hold on let me try okay well that works maybe it's just that this doesn't really have that functionality and I just like forgot anyways I'm supposed to be going to S is what I'm supposed to be doing okay Serve- wait, we are in clothes. Why are we in clothes? Don't want to be in clothes. <laughs> Take that out of context. Um, no, please don't. <laughs> um, okay, we're in wallpaper. We're in posters. Okay. Starry. Is this alphabetical? Okay, now it's alphabetical. Serve- serving. E comes before T, right? I feel like at least the American school system has robbed me of being able to pick out a letter from the alphabet because we learn this song. It's like your ABCs, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that whole thing. And so I, I don't know where a letter is without like singing that. Um, so, fun fact, if you are not from the States or if you don't have, like, a similar song to that, um, yeah, good time, for sure. Okay. 
I'll put the serving cart back here. Actually, I think it's fine, like, over here. I don't know if I should do that color, though. I could also do red. I kind of like the red more. I feel like it's a bit more classic. Okay. Maybe I will add another flower, but from this section instead. Are there no flowers here? We have to go over here. Oh, I see a plant. Okay. Let's see. Do white lilies. Or I could like do like um a cold drink. I feel like that's always very refreshing. Smoothie, iced coffee, a milkshake, <laughs> a coconut juice. I really like how this colorful juice looks. I'm gonna add that one. But it's like, it's not the most classic looking drink. I mean, I feel like this one's more classy or this iced coffee. The iced coffee definitely goes with the aesthetic more, so. Not to go for the aesthetic, but I really love the colorful juice. <laughs> It looks very good. Okay. Um, and then, so I'll probably move this somewhere else. Um, this could be nice by the entryway, like that. Um, and then a lamp. Oh no. Wanna add a lamp? I don't think so. I could put another one of these like over there just for a bit of continuity with the build. Um, okay. Let's see. What else? What else? I think I might sprinkle some stars sort of randomly. That's, that's like part of the point of this build. But it's like cloud nine. So, I mean, I don't know if there's like stars in cloud nine, but why not? I don't really even have a good sense of like what cloud nine even means. Like, I know when people say that you're like on cloud nine, you're happy or something. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a good sense of what it means. <laughs> So, apologies if this build does not really fit what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> um, okay, and then I want to add some stars. The little um, star thingy-mabobbers. Uh, these ones, the star fragments. And I want to add the pink ones. I feel like blue and pink just go so well together. I don't know why. Are blue and pink like opposites on the color wheel? I thought that it's like blue and orange. Or are they like complementary colors? Like why does blue and pink look so nice? Every time I see it, it just gives me like cotton candy and fun. So I really like blue and pink. Let's put it there. And put that there. There we are. And then we have to put some stuff at the front. So the question is, what do I put? Um, uh, hmm. But like a creature. Do I have a seahorse? Because that would be kind of funny if I put, like, a seahorse. Are there seahorses in this game? Tadpole frog, bluegill. This might take a while. Um, seahorse. Ah! Because, you know, he's like a unicorn. He's also a horse. 
I don't know. It's just kind of funny to me. The sea butterfly is also very aesthetic. I don't know if, if that really fits with the whole, like, theme of the home, though. Um. So, maybe I'll get rid of them. But, I don't know. I could also do, like, some plants. Um. I like this, and I like this. Oh, that's right, I can put stuff on top. I should definitely make use of that. Um, but I think for now I'll get rid of these animals. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, animals, you're gone. I'll put that cherry blossom there, and then we'll leave this moss ball up here, and we'll also put the floating planter. And then let's customize this do white and make the flowers face outwards that is quite pretty i feel like okay let's look at our wall mounted items see if there's anything we want to add here um can i could add a tv normally i don't get the opportunity to add a tv so normally i do like partitions and then the tv thing just like doesn't work out well i could put a tv here so we could watch TV. Um, do the white. Did I put that correctly? Or does it need to go over more? Oh, it, it needs to go over more. Um, one more. There. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. That's cool. Um, let's see. Be like also a shower set in the bathroom because uh, we only have the tourist bath and there's no like actual shower um so we'll put that there so that you can shower properly <laughs> he doesn't want to take a bath um towel rack Let's see do gold Put that there. Um, plants. I could definitely put some more plants in this area. Um, we could put this plant with a gold thingy. I don't know if those really fit though. Uh, yeah, no, I don't really like those. <laughs> Let's get rid of them. Okay, um... Do the starry garland. Um, hmm. No, I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, I could do, like, a painting. I feel like a twinkling painting could work, but then I'm like... Where do I put it? <laughs> um, so, that's always a challenge. Um, I also like this painting. Put that there, and then that one there, and just move it over a bit. Um, be honest i don't love the paintings so i'm just gonna <laughs> get rid of them okay i guess not too many wall mounted things um ceiling decor i want to add a chandelier um this fancy one let's look at the colors gold silver white red blue we'll go with gold there we are like that or we could put it over like the whole area or just over the piano no we will just put it over the whole area okay and then we will use the spiral chandelier for the bathroom area and we'll do there. So we could do like two. 
that. I mean, I don't know. Just do one. But then, like, trying to center it is tricky. I guess that's kind of centered. Okay. Um, and for the bedroom, I could do a hanging cube light for, like, a softer sort of light. Or we could do another chandelier. Yes, why not? Why not? <laughs> do we put it in the middle? Do we put it above the bed? I feel like I kind of like it above the bed best. Okay. Um, anything else? I mean, we have this ornithopter thing that I don't think I'll use. When did I get this? Hanging glowing moss? Whoa, I had no idea that I had that. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, on to rugs. Um, let's go to the special shapes. This one, Starry Skies rug. Oh no. Oops. There we go. Gotta do that. And then... Hmm. Fluffy rug? Like that. Star rug? Don't really like the star rug. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Maybe this lacy rug? I don't know. Oh, oops. Got rid of a star. I don't really like the lacy rug that much. Um. Hmm. What else? What else? Um, I guess I could just do, like, a simple mat. Oh, like, I feel like that's a bit too simple. Um, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Just keep the rugs pretty simple. Okay. Um, let's look at the lighting. I think that... Oh, I should probably do this too. Um, lighting. I might just turn the lights all the way off. And then sounds. Let's see. I feel like rain. That's nice. I like the sound of rain a lot. I feel like that just makes it feel very peaceful in here. Um, okay. Let's make sure that we have the required items. Um, so we do. So let us change his outfit and take a picture. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I like how the um, crown is like flipping through his horn. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, I mean, we could just leave him like this. Um, sure, why not? We will leave him like this. Okay, and I feel like he would definitely be the type to play piano for his guests. Excuse me, sir. You have to turn around, bud. You're not facing the piano properly. There you go. Yes. Oh, yep. He is the type to play the piano. Oh my. Okay. Um, then let me squeeze in here. Because I want to take a photo like this. Okay. Get rid of myself. And then we'll move the frame up. Zoom in first. A bit. And Okay, 
fine photo. Alright, let's tell him that we're done. Wait, is the vacation home done already? How is that possible? It is ready. Yes, I've been waiting for this moment, Glitter. You're really putting a lot of thought into this project, huh? I'm so lucky to have you on my design team. Cloud Nine Shallow. Alright, we can't see what he's doing. Great. Oh. Okay. I'm walking around, I guess. Ah. Ah, yes. Thank you. Okay. Staring towards a wall on his phone. 10 out of 10. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that turned out pretty well. Alright, this was everything, Glitter. Thanks again. Oh hey, what are your plans later anyway? Watching trains or anything fun? I'll be heading back. Gotcha gotcha, no problemo. Stop by any time, Glitter. Okay, back to the office we go. Thanks so much, Angelina. Alright, this time you've earned 20,000 pokey. Finish for today, or will you work a little longer? Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. If you'd like to join me when I am live, uh, please feel free to follow my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash uh, And if you like the video, uh, it really helps me out if you like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, thank you all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye, see you in the next one.